Okay, characterize the path in figure uh, as isobaric, isovolumetric, isothermal, or adiabatic process. For path B, the heat flow is zero. Yeah, the heat flow is zero. Yeah, Q equal to zero. The curves are isotherm line. Uh, these are isothermal line, means same temperature line. Okay, uh, let's do one by one. So, uh, let's do A. Yeah? So, uh, let's do A. Yeah, what is A? Yeah, A means isochoric. Uh, it's a constant volume. Uh, first of all, we can say uh, this one is uh, uh, this one is okay, right. Um, okay. Yeah. So this one is uh, at the same volume. You see that at the same volume. Huh? same volume. So uh, A is iso. Toric process, or we can say iso volumetric process. Okay, process because it maintains a same volume. You see, it maintains a same volume, same volume. Uh, this volume is constant. Uh, volume is constant. How about uh, let's look at D. Uh, let's look at D. Uh, Write it down first. B, A, B, C, D. Okay, how about D? D is maintained at constant pressure. I uh, maintain a constant pressure value. Huh? It changes the volume only and the temperature. But it didn't change the pressure. So this is isobaric process. Isobaric process. Isobaric process because the pressure is constant. Okay, uh, and then how about C? C C is maintained at the same temperature. You see that on the same isotherm line T three. Uh, it maintained at temperature T three. Uh, it didn't change from temperature the T one to T two or or other temperature. Like you see for for A just now A it changed from temperature T three to T four. You see that it changed temperature. Uh, it changed temperature from uh, let me write it down. It did, it changed from for A. It changed from temperature, uh, you know, T three to T four. Ah, uh, it changed temperature. Also changed the pressure. Also, it changed pressure. Uh, pressure decrease. Pressure decrease. Ah, uh, uh, the temperature also changed for D. D also it changed temperature from you know T three to T one. Ah, T three to T one. So for D also changed from T three to one uh, uh, the volume also change only the pressure constant uh, only the pressure constant uh, so only the uh, like b also b uh, like process b also it changed from temperature t3 to t4 see that uh, b also change from temperature t3 to t4 uh, t3 to t4 so got change of temperature only the C, only the C temperature constant at T3. Uh, so this is isotherm line. So C is an iso, isothermal process. Isothermal process. Because, uh, why? Because the temperature is constant at T3. At T3. Okay, it doesn't change. Uh, on the, we can say, uh, on the, uh, we can say on the uh, same isotherm, same isotherm line. Uh, yeah, the same temperature line, same isotherm line, same temperature line. Okay, all the other changes temperature. Only the isothermal process maintains same temperature. Okay, how about B? B, he say, uh, here he say. For B, the Q equal to zero. Uh, Q equal to zero. That means uh, for path B, the heat flow is zero. So what is heat flow zero? We learn about uh, heat flow equal to zero for which one? Isobaric, isochoric, isothermal, or adiabatic? Ah, uh, adiabatic. Adiabatic is 
it's an insulated container uh, is the container is insulated well insulated so no heat flow no heat flow in or no heat flow out so the uh, because insulated insulated all the heat is protected inside the container heat cannot go in heat cannot go out so the heat flow is zero no the rate of heat the heat flow is zero yeah no heat go in no heat go out so this adiabatic process uh, q equal to zero uh, so q equal to zero means this process is adiabatic process uh, adiabatic process okay so b definitely is q equal to zero uh, b q equal to zero heat flow equal to zero it definitely is adiabatic process uh, is adiabatic process okay because why because he say already heat flow equal to zero because why insulated uh, well insulated container because it's well insulated container so no, there's no heat go in no heat go out heat flow equal to zero uh, so q equal to zero for adiabatic process okay all right so that's all for this graph uh, so a is isochoric d is isobaric c is isothermal process b q, heat q equal to zero means adiabatic process okay so that's all thank you